Close your eyes and watch the breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. And make sure you stay right here. If there are any noises outside that distract you, remind yourself, it's not the noise that pulls you away. The mind just drops the breath and goes looking to the noise. Or as John Cha used to say, it's not that the noise is disturbing you, you're disturbing the noise. In other words, you have to look at what you're doing. That's the essence of discernment. We're born into this world and we encounter pain, we encounter suffering. And the reaction is that we're bewildered by it. How does this happen? We also look to someone else to help put an end to it. And there's some things that are causing pain in the world that are the fault of other people. But the pain in the mind is something that is caused by the mind's own lack of skill. And so if you want to learn how to depend on yourself, you use your discernment to look inside to see what is it that you're doing that's causing this, or adding unnecessary pain on top of the pain that's already there. The Buddha gives the image of two arrows. One arrow gets shot into you. And then you shoot yourself with a second arrow. The second arrow is the mind's commentary on the original pain. Well, it's always struck me that that second arrow is actually there more than just one more arrow. You shoot many, many arrows into the mind. And it's these extra arrows that you add. Those are the ones that actually weigh the mind down. Pain in the body is something that's normal. Disagreeable things outside are things that are normal. But the fact that they weigh the mind down, that has to do with our own lack of skill. So when you realize that, you look inside. You see the value of training your mind so you can learn how to depend on it, not to add that extra level of pain. That's when you become your own refuge. We talk about taking the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha as our refuge. We have to take their qualities, bring them inside. That's when we can really depend on them. It's not the case the Buddha is going to come around and clean up all your messes or protect you from dangers outside. But he sets a good example, and so we follow that example by developing our discernment. And the important part of discernment is realizing that there is suffering that's caused by the mind, and we can put an end to it. It's not like you're blaming yourself for the suffering, but the Buddha is pointing out that there's a lot that can be done by taking responsibility for the suffering that's weighing the mind down. And it offers the possibility that you can make a difference. You don't have to wait for somebody else to change. You can change. And as you change, then you find that there's less and less suffering weighing you down. This is where you learn you really can depend on yourself. Because when you're not adding that extra suffering, there's nothing weighing the mind down at all. And John Sawat used to like to ask the question, that mountain over there on the eastern horizon, is it heavy? And everyone knows that when, a, when a John asks a question like that, you don't just jump in with an answer. His answer was, if you try to lift it up, it'll be heavy on you. But if you don't try to lift it up, then even though it's heavy in and of itself, it's not heavy on you. So look at where you're carrying around extra mountains that you don't need to carry around. Or you're piling more mountains on top of yourself that you don't need to. Learn how to put them down. And this way you find that this, the stress and the suffering and the pain in the mind gets less and less and less as you take responsibility for it. You learn how to be your own refuge by growing up and admitting what you're doing, and then changing your way so that you learn how to deal with the world. You deal with sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations in a way that doesn't add any suffering. When you're not suffering, you're not piling extra stuff on top of yourself. You're less of a burden to other people, too. So the goodness of discernment gets spread around.